Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to tear the head off this Grand Prix and start working on the score reels and everything else on it. So let's get this machine moved over to the normal spot I work on them and we will start taking the head off. Alright, to get this head off you're going to need a 9 sixteenths and we're going to have to remove all four of these Jones plugs. See if we can get you a little closer. I already got the back glass removed because I lay it down on its face. Um, just so when I work on it, if anything drops down, it doesn't um, scratch the glass. But we're going to remove these four Jones plugs. You just pull them out and you wiggle them like this as they come out. You can use two hands too. I do that sometimes. You can just go like this and they'll come straight out. That one came out really easy. That one not too bad. Sometimes these fight you, but they were out just recently. And they will need to be cleaned, just like every other Jones plug. Now, look at this. Oh yeah, I did that. Duh. I jumpered it for free play. I forgot. I did that temporarily because this machine still took quarters. If it didn't take quarters, they were manually flipping credits on there. But I forgot I just did that so I could um, play it for a while. Even though I shouldn't have because the play field is fully dirty, full of mess and crap. But this is a Grand Prix. You gotta play it. I had to play it. I had to test it out and see how much I, I, I loved it. And this is an awesome game. Anyways, you got four bolts here. We're going to remove three of them and leave one in. The reason why, these heads are heavier than hell. I recommend, if you can get help with it, somebody to help you move it, do it. It's always better. If you can't, do it like I'm doing it. good yeah the bolts going up and down on me I don't know if you can see it where it's attached into the head actually where the other half of the bolt is into the cabinet is loose this should be staying in the cabinet. So this, I need a box for my parts. So that will stay together. I'll loosen all these other ones up pretty good and see if we get the same thing. Oh, that one seems to be staying together. Okay, yeah, it's not pushing. I remember one of them now I remember one of them was loose. I did find it in the bottom of the machine. That's good. So this video is just going to be about removing the head. Next video is going to be probably on a score reels square reels, a stepper, the credit unit. The credit unit I will be bypassing to make it um, free play. However, um, I'm still going to re fully rebuild it. And um, it will be all cleaned and everything ready to go. So if I croak or something like that, or I'm desperate and I need cash because of the beer flu, coronavirus, and I have to sell it, whoever gets it is going to have a perfectly good running machine. And you notice I got my hand up here because this wants to fall. So yeah, even though I'm going to have it on free play, I will put my jumpers on it to make it free play. Even though it will be on free play, it's still going to be fully, completely rebuilt where everything works. Thank God everything does work right now. Um, 
the match stepper up here that will get rebuilt. That's pretty similar to a Gottlieb one. Um, yeah, that's about it. So let's move this out of the way. All right, now I'm going to lift it up and we're laying it face down on the table right here. Um, let's get a better look at that. I'll take the camera off. It's not really too bad. It's dirty. Score reels are just filthy. As you can see that. Um, everything looks pretty good. It will get all vacuumed out and everything. But yeah, I don't know. Um... I'm going to put a light over here or not. I'm going to have to do all the measurements and see how that works for that. But yeah, I just might buy one of these sockets, put in an order with my order, and put in one of these sockets. And I can just drill a hole wherever that um, little um, building is and just put it in and attach light bulbs to it. I see I got. A rotted one right there so I'll probably put an order in for like maybe 10 or 20 of those light sockets I always order extra to keep on hand because sometimes you get a machine that has bad ones and this is like the really first bad nasty rusty one so I'll be putting an order for them but yeah everything all the realize and everything look to be operating properly. So that's it. That's how you remove the head on a Williams Grand Prix. Give us a thumbs up in 3D. Um, my daughter edits these videos, so give her a thumbs up too. Um, follow us on Facebook, Mark's Basement Arcade. So like and subscribe to us on YouTube at Mark's Basement Arcade. Down in the bottom, in the description, there's a link for Amazon Affiliate. If you buy anything off of Amazon at all, click that link first. It takes you right to Amazon and it ties my name into the purchase. I don't see what you buy. I don't care what you buy. But what it does, it for me referring you to Amazon and you buying stuff, it gives me a little bit of change. That helps make, st make these videos, it helps camera stands, I like to get a GoPro someday and put it inside the machine, you know, as I'm working or get it like right up on the parts. Um, it just helps with all that and if you like the videos and they do help you, um, that's awesome. So anyways, take care, later.